The Periodic Table This simple guide to the periodic table introduces chemistry concepts in terms that beginners can understand. By the end of this video, you will have unraveled the complexity of the chart and understand the rationale behind the periodic table. The periodic table is used by chemists to compare characteristics, patterns, and relationships between over 100 elements in just one chart. The elements are organized in a big grid containing rows and columns. This is made possible by using short symbols to identify the elements rather than long names. The elements have not been added randomly. They are placed in specific places on the table because of the way they look and act. An element is usually a solid, liquid, or gas, and many other characteristics and properties. The periodic table is arranged so that elements containing common characteristics are grouped together. Each element in the periodic table has been abbreviated and been given a symbol. They are collectively called periodic symbols. The first letter of a periodic symbol is always a capital letter, for example, H for hydrogen and O for oxygen. If there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. For example, the chemical symbol for helium is HE. The symbols have been created by using abbreviations of their English, Greek, or Latin names, which are used and recognized all over the world. Some periodic symbols are not immediately recognizable. For example, the periodic symbol for gold is AU, from the Latin word aurum, meaning gold. The periodic table was originally created and arranged by Dmitry Mendeleev in 1869, when he was just 35 years old. His table included the 65 elements known in his era. He predicted that other, undiscovered elements must also exist. He was right. Nearly double the number of elements are now included in the periodic table. His table did not include any of the noble gases, like helium and neon, which were discovered by William Ramsey in 1894. The work of many other scientists contributed to the history and development of the periodic table. In 1778, Antoine Lavoisier wrote the first extensive list of elements containing 33 elements and distinguished them between metals and nonmetals. In 1828, Jacob Berzelius developed a table of atomic weights and introduced letters to symbolize elements. In 1829, Johann Doberaner grouped together elements based on similarities and patterns. In 1864, John Newlands arranged the known elements in order of atomic weights and observed similarities between some elements. And in 1869, the Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev created the table based on atomic weights, but arranged periodically, with elements with similar properties under each other. Dmitry Mendeleev proposed the first periodic law. In 1913, Henry Moseley determined the atomic number of each of the elements and modified the periodic law. The periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements recur periodically in a systematic and predictable way when the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number. The periodic table is therefore arranged in order of increasing atomic numbers according to the periodic law. When arranged according to atomic number, elements show repeating or periodic trends in their chemical and physical properties. Elements are placed in the order of their atomic numbers, starting with the lowest number of 1. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of an element is the same as the number of protons in that particular atom. The periods in the periodic table are any of the seven horizontal rows that contain elements arranged in order of increasing atomic number. The atomic numbers increase as you move across a period or row. Each period starts with an alkali metal, like potassium, and ends with a noble gas, like krypton. The periodic table contains groups, which are any of the 18, the vertical columns, that contain elements arranged in order of increasing atomic number. The atomic number increases as you move down a group or column. Elements with similar properties are arranged in the same group. For example, elements shown in group 18 are noble gases. The periodic table can be used by chemists to predict chemical and physical properties, characteristics, patterns, and relationships between over 100 elements in just one chart. The periodic table is an arrangement of the chemical elements arranged in order of atomic number, usually in rows, so that elements with similar atomic structure, and hence similar chemical properties, appear in vertical columns. To understand the periodic table, we need to be familiar with the elements, and to understand the elements, we first need to ask a basic question. What is matter? Matter is everything that takes up space and has weight. Matter has volume and mass. 
Matter is classified first by its physical state as solid, liquid, or gas, which are called states of matter. Matter is made up of tiny building blocks called atoms. Atoms are composed of three kinds of smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. These particles all have different properties. Electrons are tiny, very light particles that have a negative electrical charge. Protons are much larger and heavier than electrons and have a positive charge. Neutrons are large and heavy like protons. However, neutrons have no electrical charge. The nucleus is in the middle of the atom and contains protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are made up of even smaller particles called quarks. Atoms are very small, at least a hundred times smaller than the width of a human hair. The exact size of the atom changes depending on the element. Atoms are electrically neutral, with a positively charged nucleus that binds one or more electrons in motion around it. The purest type of atom is called an element. What is the connection between atoms and chemical elements? Chemistry is the science of chemical elements and compounds and how these things work together. A chemical element contains only one type of atom. If a substance contains more than one type of atom, it is called a compound. There are millions of chemical compounds which are often expressed as chemical formulas. The chemical formula for the compound that we know as water is H2O, indicating that two atoms of hydrogen have combined with one atom of oxygen. There are over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. 92 of these elements can be found in nature, 26 of these elements can be found in the human body, and the remaining elements can be generally man-made in laboratories. Elements are first classified by their states of matter as solids, liquids, or gases. The elements are first classified as gases, liquids, or solids. Each element has its own unique physical and chemical properties. Once the properties of individual elements have been established, they are placed into groups in which all of the elements have common characteristics and properties. So, what's the difference between physical and chemical properties? Physical properties can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement. The substances are not altered chemically. Examples of physical properties are the color, luster, density, and odor of an element. Its ability to be dissolved, called solubility. Whether it can be easily pulled or stretched into a thin wire, called ductility. Whether the element can be easily shaped or bent, called malleability. Its ability to transmit heat, electricity, or sound, called conductivity. These, together with the freezing, boiling, and melting points, are all examples of the physical properties of elements. Chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. Examples of chemical properties are flammability, the ability to catch on fire, and toxicity, the ability to be poisonous. Other chemical properties are radioactivity and its heat of combustion. Additional chemical properties include how an element reacts with water or acid and oxidation, meaning the result of combining of a substance with oxygen. In a chemical change, the substances are altered chemically and display different physical and chemical properties after the change. Elements with common physical and chemical properties are arranged in groups. The names of the groups are alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, metalloids, other metals, nonmetals, halogens, noble gases, also called inert gases, and finally, the rare earth elements. The six elements classified as alkali metals are found in group one of the periodic table. The names of these elements are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. The alkali metals are silver colored except for cesium, which is pale gold. Alkali metals are so soft that they can be cut with a knife. They are malleable, ductile, and are good conductors of heat and electricity. They have low melting and boiling points compared to most other metals. Their light weight and physical properties separate them from other metals. Alkali metals are not the type of metals you would use for coins. Elements classified as alkali metals are very reactive metals that do not occur freely in nature. The six elements classified as alkaline earth metals are in group two of the periodic table. The names of these elements are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radon. The alkaline earth metals are shiny silver, white colored solid metals that are seen to tarnish in air. They are soft metals, although they are harder and denser than the alkali metals. These metals conduct heat or electricity and can be formed into sheets. 
Elements classified as alkaline earth metals are all found in the earth's crust, but not in the element form, as they are moderately reactive with other substances. Instead, they are widely distributed in rock structures. The alkaline earth metals all burn in air and glow with characteristic colors when heated. Their distinctive flames and colors explain why they are used in fireworks. The 38 elements, classified as transition metals, are found in the middle of the periodic table in groups 3 through 12. Only a few of the transition metals are colored. Most of them are silver gray or silver bluish. As with all metals, the transition elements are ductile and malleable and good conductors of electricity and heat. They are generally hard and dense and less reactive than the alkali metals. Iron, copper, silver, and gold are important transition metals. The seven elements classified as metalloids or semi-metals are located in groups 13 to 17 of the periodic table. The names of the metalloids are boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, and polonium. Metalloids are the elements found between the boundaries that distinguish metals from nonmetals. Metalloids can have some properties partially like metals and partially like nonmetals. The terms brittleness, semiconductivity, and metallic luster are often used as distinguishing indicators of metalloid status. The seven elements classified as other metals are the metallic elements within groups 13, 14, and 15 in the periodic table. The names of the other metals are aluminum, gallium, indium, tin, thallium, lead, and bismuth. The other metals are solid, opaque, ductile, and malleable. They are also good conductors of both electricity and heat and have a relatively high density. The seven elements classified as nonmetals are located in groups 1, 14, 15, and 16 in the periodic table. The names of the nonmetals are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, and selenium. The nonmetals are elements that do not look like metals and can be described as brittle solids. They are poor electrical and thermal conductors, but are great insulators. Nonmetallic elements exist at room temperature as gases, such as oxygen, and also as solids, such as carbon. The five elements classified as halogens are located in group 17 of the periodic table. The elements classified as halogens are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine. Halogens are nonmetallic elements with low melting and boiling points. They have colored vapors and are poor conductors of heat and electricity. They are very reactive, so they are likely to join with other elements on the left side of the periodic table to make compounds. The six elements classified as noble gases or inert gases are in group 18 of the periodic table. All of these gases are colorless, found in air, and make up around 0.96% of the atmosphere. The six elements classified as noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. They almost never react with other elements and do not readily form compounds. The 30 elements classified as rare earth elements are located in group 3 of the periodic table and in the 6th and 7th periods. The rare earth elements are of the lanthanide and actinide series. The lanthanides, which are found in group 6, are naturally occurring metallic elements. The actinides, which are found in group 7, are chemically similar metallic elements and they are all radioactive. The rare earth metals are silver, silvery white, or gray metals, which have a high luster but tarnish readily in air. They have a high electrical conductivity and are similar in atomic structure. The rare earth elements are of the lanthanide and actinide series. Most of the elements in the actinide series are synthetic, that is, man-made. The periodic table conveys some items of element classification at a glance. However, elements are classified by many other factors, including their atomic mass, atomic radius, melting point, boiling point, density, Mohs hardness, conductivity, electronegativity, and energy. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. In addition to our website, we have created videos on every element in the periodic table. This unique collection of videos will enable you to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements, together with details of their discovery and history. Check out our simple video guide to each element via our website.